Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to AOR, welcome to 90 Minutes of Spain. My name's Evil, joining me in the comment box today, as per usual, it's Vectro and Soup. Hello boys. Hello everyone, uh, I'm doing the camera today, uh, hoping for another good race, uh, qualifying, uh, I'm not quite sure how it actually went and what actually the thing is, but this grid will be sorted out when they get on the wave number formation lap. Yes, of course. Ethan, Skold, will be starting from pole. And that's always good to see two very, very good drivers. Bitter rivals now, of course. No team orders being implemented from here on out. So let's hope nothing terrible happens. I'll be starting on the front row between them guys. In terms of the championship, CJ leads by a very comfortable margin, doesn't he, Vatro? Yes, he does. He leads by, I think, 57 points. Uh, it's uh, astonishing, really. Also, we almost forgot about him. Soup is also back for tonight, so uh, they also say hello to him. Well, good evening. Um, and just, just to clarify, um, Evil, you said uh, 90 minutes of Spain. Uh, we're not just spending 90 minutes of looking at Spain. No, no, we're not just looking at Spain, but, uh, you know, we could be looking at 90 minutes of Spain, but here we go to the formation lap. Sinking. Good to see everyone sinking into the lobby, unlike we had in F1. So, expect the drivers, wait five seconds, we'll be rolling off the grid. Yeah, we'll slowly roll off the grid, one by one, like Noah's Ark was, and there they go. They're eventually getting off the grid bit by bit. This is where they now have to get into some decent order of out all imploding and it looks like they're going to get all off the grid correctly then Ethan then yeah, we do know Ethan will be on pole yep. and Skull his teammate following suit in second yep. now just we do actually, have to mention I'll grab the grid or, I'll grab we the do grid have to order, mention actually. that Skull is terrified here today he's going up against yes. a fierce fierce rival he's got fierce fierce things attacking him as well from behind what's out for any moths as well we know he had a little incident last time out with a moth didn't end well. Hopefully, it's all going to be good this time when he doesn't have a bad day. He's been struggling with some nosebleeds as well, so we race him all the best and hopefully that doesn't happen again. Down the field, you got like, you got Archie. Front, it's Ethan. Evil. Can you explain to uh, also me and the viewers how is the starting grid actually formed? Now, the starting grid, of course, forms. One by one, of course, five seconds off for the lights, and then you know, roll one by one. They get into the grid order in the first sector for leads races. And then coming round just after the chicane, around the chicane, they'll go two by one. And when they cross the line, it is the green flag, and away they will go. I don't, to, I don't mean that, but oh. how is the grid order formed? I believe I'm I mean, not we got, mistaken. We got Ethan on pole and Skull in second, but how is that determined? So, uh, I it's don't know the how. the results from the rounds altogether, the last few rounds. Since the beginning of the season. Exactly 100% certain about that. However, Carl at the back, he does have a quality ban, by the way, after his um, interesting actions. Last time out, where he had a little bit of a spin, taking a few drivers as well. Scold, careful boy on the grass down the straight. Yeah. Be careful. Well, you can see the grid, or I think is pretty much formed up. We're going to have uh, Ethan on pole, of course. Scold in second place, followed by Jam, then Cryptic, then CJ, Josh, then Fortuna, the Goonie, Maddie D, and Ollie D, who are going to be in the same room for once. They're they're back to back in their setups, as uh, Maddie has out there. Uh, is that Ethan, off Ethan, the Ethan, off the circuit. Ethan? What has happened there? He's oh, had a steering dear. wheel issue. Steering wheel issue. He's got issue. to start at the back. He's got to start at the back. He's got an issue oh, with steering wheel. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Well then, Skull starts on pole position. So uh, let's run to the grid then. I, I think he's a little bit confused on that one. He's got going again. So what let's see happens? if he can maybe get back to the front. I don't know. It looks like a steering wheel issue, but he's gonna have to start from the back now. That is the rules. If they have an, an, an issue on the formation now we're going to get ready to go here. Skull will lead the pack away, two by two, Jam in second, Cryptic now third, and CJ fourth. We're getting towards the restart zone now, and we're going to be ready to go here in a moment's time. They're coming up to that starting zone right now. Skull will set the pace, back them all up, and we'll be ready to go momentarily. Watch for the green flag, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, 19 minutes of Catalonia. 
is underway. Skull gets a good start and the Lamborghini behind also. Cryptic got a good start as well, so Skull gets away well, very well indeed. Side by side they go down towards turn one. It's the Audi of Jam on the inside. It's Cryptic on the outside. He's got through to second. I think CJ looking as well, going three wide almost into that turn. And CJ around the outside of Jam, as we just saw there. And that was the Goonie. Oh. And oh, that looks like Maddie D making contact with him. And Ollie D side by side as well with his brother there as they go around the first corner. Almost completely clean there, and Skull has gone away pressure. cleanly. Cryptic, yeah, he's under pressure from Cryptic here. He's run up to turn two, three. Everyone so far clean away. A little bit of bunching up in the background. There's the two uh, Matty Davis and uh, Ollie Davis brothers, Davies, battling together here. And a car going on the grass there. And that, who was that? Looks like that might be Corrento. It in the background there. Infinity going off the road as well. Epa makes up a position down the back, but Skull leads away then on that number one of 52 or lap two if you want to call it that of this 51 lap race and epr archill having a little look around the back of big parenta as well big parenta though struggle off the start line cj low already up to third yeah making up one position jam had a really really oh. poor getaway from that start as ethan had a huge moment there going around that that corner there we're going to move between joshua luke and the goonie there i think that's goonie around the yeah. outside he has a bit of a wobble it's getting a little bit bunched up here maddie d goes through gonna get and ugly. i think carl's gonna come through around the outside of the mercedes watch him try and make this one work oh look at a epr down the inside of ollie d that came out of nowhere and they're still side by side carl and goonie that's a tough place to go side by side in these cars Look at Carl trying to go down the inside of the chicane. That's going to be a tough one, and he's going to give them the space. That's a good bit of racing between those two. Brilliant. And does it. What's out for uh, Archie? Having a little look at the inside as well of the last corner. Don't want to snag that car, but the Mercedes has a superior straight line speed. Skull leads away, though, by three tenths of a second. His teammate, terrible time on the formation lap. Spinning, that's the second time we've seen the Pulsar have an issue on a formation lap. Down the back, there's Joshua Luke having a little bit of a battle there. With Matty D, and I think he's just about to hold him off. Yes, he does. Bit of um, lag there for Carl again. That's not good there. Ooh, and Skull under serious pressing out. On the inside goes Cryptic. Looks like he's alongside the Porsche driver down the inside. He goes. Skull can do nothing of it there. CJ also sitting behind there. Leads two. Right up the front. Oh, oh go CJ. My goodness. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh into the gravel huge damage and that puts cryptic into the lead skull second Ollie joshua lucas now third ollie Ollie's d is off, off as well yeah my uh, goodness uh, huge drama absolutely huge drama here there's more contact there into the breaking zone but cryptic leads from skull now now what 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 happened there it looked like skull had a wobble and then all of a sudden for the second time we've seen it the two races in a row now cj's had an error he's been caught up in no problem with his all that time there, spinning the car, maybe a bit of dirty air, I don't know if those contact knob, but a huge haunt, contact there, and that car is a write-off. Oh dear. That's a write-off, yeah. that suspension failure. So he'll have to pit. Skull, though. Looks like he's got away scot-free from that one. Yep, CJ, it was just an error on his part, just um, did it by himself in the, in the dirty air of uh, Skull, trying to get past, maybe just a little bit too early on the throttle, and now we have... Ethan and Infinity's battle. I think, I think Ethan just managed to get past Infinity's there. Yeah, he did. Um, Capitalising on the mistakes around him. Let's go now. Second position. Okay. In comes a lot of drivers. That must be for either contact or maybe a penalty. I can't imagine. Uh, he hit, um, I think he was the one who hit CJ. Double ah. A. Double no, it was a. Jam. It was Jam. It was fourth. I think he, he hit CJ. So that puts hit Joshua him. Luke into third, which is a really good uh, yeah, place for him to be. Incredible, and CJ in as well. So, three guys, you start up the front, right down the back. Cole, meanwhile, how he's done that, he's already up to um, fourth position. He started right at the back of the grid, so he's made an absolutely storming start. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Ethan got up from, uh, he's, he's had a, a, a good start from himself as well. Yep, despite spinning, Josh oh, here we go. battling here. That's Carl position. around the outside. Cole. That's a bit brave around the outside. Has to sit behind now as they come up to the little area here up the hill. They come a very difficult area. Uphill braking zone here towards the almost flat right-hand king. They won't be doing it in these cars. Small lift off and then back on the throttle as well. Down the straight. This is the best one they get as they go into the sunlight now. Looks like one of that must be, I think, is that Ollie or someone going a little bit sideways no. there. Must be Matt. Yeah, 
Oh, oh Carl, oh, he's hit him. There. He's hit him. And that's a bunch up there, and that is the only problem there on that corner. And looks like there's a bit of damage there for Joshua Luke, potentially. That was a heavy clout yeah. there, so right, uh, rear left damage, potentially. No fault of his own. Yeah. More conduct. CJ looks like he's well and truly out of this race. He's a lap down now. But Cryptic, this is exactly what he wanted here. Leading the way, he's got a 1.7 second lead. Carl and Gooney going at it low. We know how quick that Mercedes is down a straight line. Let's see. Bit of yep. a uh, slide on the rear. Let's see. Now, does he pull to the inside or is he going to go to the outside then? Cautious here as out comes CJ. This could get a little bit hairy now down the straight. To the outside goes the Mercedes. Let's see. How good is that Lambo on the brakes? Very good on the brakes, it turns out. Mercedes is a little bit loose as well. Gets a good exit low. Let's see. Matty D on board of him we go. And there you can just see sliding through the corner they're almost a four wheel drift very sideways now they're all both off the road actually they're all off the road there Gooney is he going to have a look at the inside now down the inside he goes better cut off there Carl having absolutely none of it Oli D and Big Corinth are picking up penalties yeah and also in the pit so um, was that what's feeling in the pit lane then yes I think it's so uh, I think so damage. yeah Oli D big damage Big Corinth also big damage it looks like wow easy race here man. yeah and 90 minute race here. We're only in about just under 10 minutes, maybe even less of that into the race. We're only on that five. A few people have contact, a few people have damage. Very interesting stuff here. Meanwhile, oh, there is oh, more damage there. And that round is a Lamborghini as he kept out of the wall. I think he's got away scot free there that time. Just about. That came out of nowhere. It looks like um, Infinity got out slowly. And uh, if you already stopped the surprise. Got on the curve. That curve. We've seen it before. Such difficult to do, an easy do. Up front though, and that is CJ getting CJ well getting out of the lapped. way. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, he'd be ruining that. I think it was all by himself from what we could see. And it does look like he's actually picked up some more front end damage. Yeah, Mally. Fit position, he's kept himself rather clean, of course. There's Big Parenta and double A. They're down level for 12. Tony Lowe, silent race for him. He's currently in seventh position. I've seen much of him. There's Ethan, the pole sitter. I, I still don't know what happened to him there. If it was maybe a, a wheel base issue again, or or what? I, well, I wasn't exactly looking at the screen at that point. Um, he went straight on, so I'm assuming it was a wheel issue because he didn't even try to turn for the corner. Saw the throttle, it flick, flicked him round. Obviously, the gears were still working, but the, the wheel just wasn't. Must be a, maybe a wheelbase issue or something. I've never seen it before. He, he had this issue early on this season, so uh, maybe it could be in the background there. Infinity uh, deciding to take turn three a little bit more creatively there. There's Archie up down the back, and there's Goonie going very sideways there, I have to say. Keeps it on the island. This driver's pushing it very, very hard here. On the, most of them on the hard tyres, of course. Was talking to Reefing and Skull, saying they're going to be trying a different strategy here. Hard tyres look to be the way, so expect them. To be going very long into this race. But up front, so far, Cryptic, 2.9 seconds there. As we're looking at Gooney, Matty, and then behind them, CJ, who's there. This yeah. is an awkward situation because CJ, of course, uh, he's one of the fastest drivers in this league. And now he needs to unlap them in a safe position if he wants to. Uh, if he wants any chance for any points. Indeed, so he's yeah. going to have to take compromise, isn't he, Vector and Soup? He's got to either sit behind and hope Manny makes a mistake or goes past because if he gets ahead he'll get a blue flag immediately and we know especially on this game it's a lot more vicious he'll give you a penalty almost I think immediately unless you can pull away very dramatically yep so um keep up let's see if Ethan can make a move past Tony here and in the slipstream got a good run yeah, yeah got a good run you Quick can't even cut. see the Porsche behind that massive wing was the inside slightly? He's alongside the car now. Down the inside he goes. Late break from Ethan. We know he's a very good late breaker. Tony might keep around the outside. Can't do it. Ethan on the curb. He's careful. Doesn't want to lose the rear end there. It's moved down already on the back. And I think there's been an off somewhere. There's a bit of debris into turn number one and two. There. Yeah, in Infinity's went off. Ah. He's in the pit lane. Now, Infinity um, in the pit lane. So that might be why. And he picked up a, a time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Penalties here today. That is a real shame. Out he comes again. Torrid time again from Affinity. It's having the worst luck this season, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely is. But um, Joshua Luke's doing a great job today. 
up in six. He is under pressure from uh, the Porsche of Ethan and Tony in the Mercedes. Up front though, correct take. Opens that gap now. Three seconds, Max. Oh, Manny. That is not what you want to be doing there. Luckily though, that Porsche, surprisingly though, manages to skip through that gravel scot for it. Ethan has a look to the inside there a little bit. Now that might compromise him a little bit into the corner. What's up for the Merc trying to sniff the rear? Can't do a lot from that far back though. Yep. So, right now, Cryptic is the, pretty much the fastest man on track. Um, Skull is lapping about nine tenths of a second slower than him each lap. And uh, Carl is going quicker than him each lap as well, apart from that lap, which is a couple of tenths. But um, yeah, so, but he's still running in, in a really, really good second at the moment. Yeah, he's really running well. We've got this battle low. Tony, he's not giving up yet. We know that Porsche's got a superior straight line speed, but it's up against another Porsche. And that is kind of a situation here where he's just might make a move. And Matt having a bit of a wobble into turn number two there. Managed to keep that thing in a straight line. Man, maybe a little bit under pressure here, you know, from CJ. Be interesting. Yes, yeah, yes. Think... CJ, of course, he wants to get past. He wants to pick up the pace, but uh, of course, it's a really awkward uh, yeah. situation because he's not running in the same lap. It's dirty yeah, air, isn't it? He's got to wait. Yeah, indeed. And um, actually, he might actually be helping Matt a little bit because because with the pace of CJ, he's just having to push on. Would it not? Help if he just let him through and concentrate on his own race load, because it is costing him tire wear having to post on a lot more. Maybe However, it's just a natural pace, and TJ is just legitimately struggling on this tra track. Yeah, Maybe. he's going to have to move out of the way for these guys in a moment, because these guys are flying, catching Maddie. Yeah, Tony, Ethan, and Mr. Joshua and Luke haven't seen much of him this season. He's been struggling all season long, but now, unlike his teammate, doing a brilliant job here. I would say if it is too far back, he's only a tenth. Yeah. And uh, Porsche, Porsche, Mercedes, and then uh, EPR in the background closing up as well. Oh, Lapping yeah. very quickly compared to them. He had that spin, of course, and outside of the close back up after that mistake. Actually, uh, he said fastest lap last time round. That's how quick he's going. Mm -hmm. I expect maybe next two, three laps he'll be right over the back of them. Ethan really needs to get a move on now, doesn't he? And Axley yeah, on the top the, of the oh. van. Made a mistake. Made a mistake, that's and it. There he goes. Watch for Tony. He's got yeah. a good straight line speed in that Mercedes. Let's see if he can make a move into turn one. Yeah, a little bit too Maybe far a bit back. Far back for that one. Yeah, do or dive move there. You want to try that, you'll knock your uh, run end off. Rave of it. But Tony, uh, just for Luke's to say, made a mistake just when I said. Oh, God. And there goes what Archie talking about mistakes. <laughs> ah, resetting. Now, I'm pretty certain you're not able to you're do, not that. do that. So, that. Afraid, I think it might be a penalty. Well, now Ethan is passed and he can uh, now focus on chasing after Maddy D. Yeah, let's see if he can do that. Well, Maddy D is just there, two seconds. And Ethan is now really, really opening that gap up. You can just see he had pace, he knew he had pace. He's probably frustrated from the mistake or issue, whatever he had. Hopefully, we can get confirmation of it later on. But Matt is really kind of under pressure, but he's catching Goonie at an equal pace. Yeah, indeed. Uh, but Cryptic up front has opened that gap out to about five seconds now. Yeah, indeed. So, now the question is, what has Skull got compared to the likes of Cole? Who, I have to say, despite all the mistakes and issues have gone around him, currently lies himself in third from last. So, give credit where due. That is a brilliant recovery. Of course, a lot of incidents happened around him, but good job from him. Goonies we've pushing got, on. Could... We've got some issues in this race, but still zero retirements. Yeah, and CJ is he is just struggling um, with the pace. Uh, Forty six nine. Now he's stuck behind Maddie, but but um, even so, you'd, you'd expect him to be going quicker than that. Yeah. It's really just that situation where dirty air, dirty everything, it's really, really hindering the drivers and they've just got to try and push as hard as they can and Manny D just sideways through turn three. We've seen that it's kind of a trade with the Porsche here. I was testing it earlier on this week and it really has a loose rear end compared to the Lamborghini. So 
expect that could be one of the places where the red tyres will go off a lot quicker. Now, I was talking to Skull as well. He is, seems to be struggling with the rear left tyre. So expect him potentially to be struggling a lot more around turn three. Yeah. And the likes of actually where Carl's going to go through now. That really long right hand was a whole lot of strain. Uh, it looks like Tony and uh, Joshua Luke has lost touch with, uh, with yeah. Ethan, so they've fallen yeah. back. They might have made a small mistake. Yep, because Joshua Luke's all over him now. Infinity. Flying as well. 48, but Big Parenta of 45. And up front, Cryptic selling 44. So we're very diverse lap times here today. Two guys through. Yeah. I think CJ, yeah. I think Matt, maybe have just let him through potentially. Doesn't kind of get fed up of just seeing him make mistakes. And him through. Yep. That well, gap. CJ is 20 seconds behind Jam. So it's going to be a big ask for him to score points today. But not in both points. We know his pace. He's really quick. And we have yeah. one retirement. So well done, Vectro. Who's uh, that we've lost? Is that... Huh. Mm, see who that I is. I don't know. Who have we lost? Oh, Ollie D. Ah! Now, what has happened to cause that to go out? I I, I think I know. Uh, Manny has just slapped him across the head and he's retired. Ah. Yep. Maybe. I have a feeling there may be some rage in that room right now. Potentially. However, a really big issue and a real shame there for um, Matt's brother, Ollie, out of the race. I mean, we only have one Davies brother in this race, and it is Matt. Mr. Um, Mr. Bobby Job currently doing the service and not retiring from the race so far. We've got one retirement. Of course, that's Ollie. Yeah. Let's see how much penalties so if we run past. Oh, oh dear. big oh, dear. seconds. Now, how has he gone and done that? 12. How do you get 50 seconds? My lord. <laughs> he must have made a very, very big boo-boo to get that. Oh, oh dear. Still got boo-boos. Off goes Joshua Luke spinning around off the circuit. And back on he the circuit. recovered. <laughs> And through goes EPR. Indeed. Now, Tony, 1.4 seconds. He's keeping it together there, but Ethan now getting on the back of Matt. Yep, he's pushing on. You can see those time. He's at a 45.9 last time around compared to a 47.4 for Matty D. Indeed, Check last time this round on 46.6 to a 47.0. He's a little bit quicker, about four or five terms a lap, so expect him to be making moves in the next two, three laps then. If he keeps that pace up. Meanwhile, Cryptic absolutely flying up front. Suddenly, yep. seven and a bit second lead there as Tony makes a big wobble off from turn two into turn three. That compromises line here, but I don't think EPR Archie close enough to make a move. Yeah. But uh, Ethan Wright with Manny P now is within that second. He's within a second of him now. You can see him there. Maddie sideways through that corner. Let's see what, if Archie, can, Archie uh, can make any moves here. Indeed, and Tony really, really under press. Now, struggling, it looks like, in that Mercedes, potentially with uh, braking and rear exit uh, as well. It's getting loose. Look for the Lamborghini here. This is where this place, the Lambo, as it normally is. Very good, and already right Whoa. on the inside. There's a bit of contact there, nearly. I said it was good there. I wasn't expecting to be that good there. I think he might have a little lunge into the braking zone. Close enough. Yeah, let's see if Arco can do it. Oh, he's going to try. Oh, contact. The contact. He is a bit of contact. Now, surely, mm. surely he has to get that position back there. He's nudged him off the road. That's a bump and run if I ever saw one. Yeah, bump and run that. Surely he has to give the position back. Yeah, I, I would I would wager the same. Looks pretty... Uh, oh, Matt made a mistake. To me. Yeah, made a mistake there. Now he's going to put him under all kinds of pressure here. Down the straight, Ethan's going to get a mega run hit. Now, let's see. Does Matt go defensive? He's not looking like he's close enough, though. Matt's got a decent straight line speed. He's pulling away again down the straight. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's gonna have to work for this one. I'm feeling we're gonna see a really, really good battle between these two guys. As Ethan had a little lunge, he went sideways. Pushing it a little bit too <laughs> hard. Um, off goes oh, Tony. Off. Tony, oh, off. Tony. That's damage. That will be damage then, so he's got red damage, surely that. Yeah, I think maybe just, so. Or just I, to... I think just frustration, I think. It didn't look like it was actual damage. Oh dear, talk it's about really damage. Oh dear. Well, that is some damage. He's been in the wall. I think he's rolled it. That looks like he's rolled that car somewhere. You yeah, know? He did. Oh, Ethan is done. attacking. Just saw him on the brakes, just completely full lock to the right into a left hander. He's really pushing on because Arkill Ar Ar is closing in rapidly on these guys. Now, in the chat, we have Ollie D. Um, swear word take. Some drivers don't know how to overtake. Been a bit of an issue there. Big Parenta, meanwhile, having a little bit of an attack here on Infinity. Yeah. As this is the battle here, and just look at how EPR Archer was absolutely flying here. Matt struggling up the inside, has a look, goes the Lamborghini here. Archer flying yeah. here all of a sudden. He's opened that gap massively now on the car behind. He's all over the back of Ethan. In fact, having a little bit of a yeah, look here, Ethan going really defensive. Oh. Whoa. Must be careful. Yeah, doesn't want to nudge him again. Matt gets a terrible exit again here. He's struggling with that corner. Look at him, rear end stepping out here. Here goes the Lamborghini. Eva's going to go defensive. Matt ahead's going to go defensive. This could end in tears. Might go three wide. Here we go. And they're all behind one car. There's Ethan, pulls the inside of one. Go. Matt goes a bit defensive. Very defensive here, side by side. Look at this, round the outside goes a Lamborghini. He might take one, he might oh. take two. And on the inside, has he got it? Surely he has here. Side by side, now on the outside here, there's contact. And now through, attempting there goes Matt again. Look at this, three wide for a brief second here. Matt drops two positions in the space of about 100 yards. Not over yet, Ethan. Down oh. the inside, what a dive. And also Matt down the inside. Beautiful. Yeah, I think that was an insane battle. Uh, Arkel went, was very audacious there. I think Ethan made a mistake into that braking zone in turn four. And that's why he's dropping oh, way of oh. damage, actually. He's really dropping back. Maybe some air, right? He's, yeah, because I think he's, he's, he's shifting early. Like, he's dropping really ba far back now. I think he may have involved in some contact between himself and Arkel or Maddy, Because he's really struggling. Now the safe side, oh, big slide there on the rear end, that 14 and 52, and we've already had more action than we normally see. At the beginning of the race, more action than we saw last week. A few people yeah. saying that was a very dangerous pass from the uh, Lamborghini, it didn't look too dangerous. It was the only battle we had on track, and it looks like it's falling apart a bit now. So, I hope another battle will commence soon, and it looks like Infinity is dropping back oh, a lot. Dear. Oh, well, he's very much more than dropping back there. He's gone off the road in turn number three. So, surely, there must have been... I, I can't imagine how he's gone off there on his own. Without getting a bit of help there. Unless he drops it on the curb. Oh, look this at that. Leader. It's your race leader. Tick as well. Well, nice segue there. There's Scott in a second. Further nine seconds back. Lair is Archil. Matt. Ethan. This isn't over. <laughs> this is not over. Oh. Ethan just looks like he's sideways through that, through that first corner. He's probably opting for a more oversteer kind of setup. But he's all over Maddie D again for some reason. Yeah, he maybe... made a small mistake in turn two. Yeah, runs a little bit wide. He can get away with running wide there a little bit. Drop the rear of that. He gets yeah, more lenient around that corner in this game. He has to tough. Not as aggressive. But Ethan... Oh, Ethan got a penalty. He's got a penalty. Yeah, two seconds and imagine. Track limits. One second. One, One second. second. Well then, that is a little bit of a change there, and off goes Matt a little bit there, runs wide, that's the place I said, it's so easy to do on this game. Uphill, braking and turning at the same time, it just tends to be a situation where understeer just happens, Ethan's going to have a mega run here, is he going to have a pop to the inside, let's see, things better of it, long race, Matt runs a bit Matt too deep. deep, and Ethan says thank you very much, I might take that, but no, he gets a bit of a, bit of a wiggle on as well. Yeah, I think we have a battle for seconds shaping yep. up a little bit because oh. Carl is going to a second a lap quicker. Yep, Skull looks like maybe struggling. There, Matt has obliterated a little polystyrene wall there. Well, no one knows what the braking zone is that corner because it's no longer 
on that corner. Oh dear. Good run from Ethan through that corner. <laughs> Ethan Ian, meanwhile, Ethan and Matt's Ian again. for damage. Let's have a look here. Matt sideways again. Ethan doesn't look like he's close enough this time around. On board we go potentially with one of the drivers. Indeed, there we go, on board of Ethan. Matt on the grass. A bit on the grass. Have to be careful here, doesn't want to spin the rears up here as he breaks down into this corner. Third gear, down into second there for a brief moment. Through they go. The car looks unstable. Ah, actually. Ethan has got automatic gears. Because, ah. Oh dear. Now that is seriously going to hamper him. Yeah, wow. Okay, that's a very strange. It helps just, just to know uh, Infinities has retired. Yep, Infinity retired again. So Ollie and Infinity out of this race there. Maddie absolutely sideways. So given what's happened there. He was doing a good job to uh, get that car going, and around he goes. Well, never mind. I've cast that one well into really. Yep. If we can maybe move to the battle for second, it's really uh, getting close between those two guys. Yep. Skull made a mistake Skull as well. Struggling a bit, Yep. Rear left. That's the rear left. I told. I remember earlier. I said Skull looks like he's struggling with the rear left. That definitely looked like he's struggling oh, dear. with understeer. Easiest way to find out is going to be. Down around this sector here, because you really struggle to get any grip into this yeah. last corner. I think the Lamborghini is going to get him really quickly. Yeah, he's really, really hampered now. But if he, he got a decent run out of that last corner, Watch even with that. That Lamborghini's got a mega straight line speed, though. Let's see. But Skull's got a good speed as well. 150 miles an hour plus it. Pulls a little bit to the inside. The Lamborghini not too close enough to try and make a pop in the inside. Do it there. That's it behind. Yeah, he's going to struggle here. Turn three. Yeah, look at that rear end. Look at that. Oh, just look at these taking stabs at the steering. That is trying to get that front end just to turn in. Just amounts to get it before going off the road. To go through turn yeah. number four. Got again. Bit of a snap of oversteer there. Big, big snap of oversteer on the exit. And here is where the Lamborghini has its prime top subject here. Has a little look to the inside there. No making the move down there, though. Yeah. It's finding it uh, a little bit difficult to get past this Porsche here. Maybe it'll be a little bit um, easier as we run through this section, which is very, very heavy on the tyres, especially this turn, turn number yeah. nine here. Oh, he's going. That rear end looks like it's about to drop at any moment. Look at that much commitment he's having to put on those tyres. Now, Vetra, you know about these cars, of course. You've driven them plenty of times. So difficult on the brakes, aren't they? On the brakes, they are. They, uh, they can wobble a lot on the brakes, especially with a controller. Uh, it's just really hard to stop the car, especially with ABS enabled, but even more so with it disabled. Yeah, it's just difficult. The tyre wear, I mean, I've driven the pause before, I can tell you it's quite hard on the red tyres. The Lamborghini Vetra, which you've driven before, a little more gentle than the tyres, isn't it? Uh, I don't really know. I've not really tested a lot of other cars, so I've only tested the, um, the Audi and the, uh, the BMW and of course the Lamborghini. I've driven one season with it and um, I was never really able to make it through a race on one set of tyres, but that just might be my driving style. Yeah, maybe. Well, find out what Skull's up to. Looks like he's hmm. still struggling, but the gap opens up a little bit here, so it just proves that Porsche has a very good top speed. Yeah, he was actually actually quicker on lap time. He actually matched the leader that lap around. Yeah. Cryptic did a, a 145.94, Skull with a 145.96. Well, though, CJ, 148. And uh, Arkley with a 144.6, but he has now got a time penalty. Yes. Well. He's actually cast. on the back of the Goonie right now, actually, Arkley, ah. going for fourth. Indeed, there he is, Les Gooney, having a silent race again. We, we don't talk much of him, but it just proves how good he's doing. And Skold again struggling here as he come up the hill. This is the place where Skold's struggling so much. Oh, huge wobble. Huge coming wobble out of that coin, he's gone wide there. Now, let's see, that's where the Porsche's got that straight line speed. You can just see opens the gap a little bit here. Now on the brakes, bit of a wibble, bit of a wobble. Everything's good on the end, low as they get through the corner. That is CJ, by the way, catching up, but a Raider not. And he's yep. a lap down, remember. He... Yeah, he might want to just hang back a little bit. He's a big yeah, see how this falls, maybe. We can capitalise on a small mistake. 
looks like yeah. it is. Joshua Luke with a time penalty. Yeah. Meanwhile, someone lapping someone down the straight. Imagining that's a cryptic lapping jam. It is. It is. Cryptic. Hmm, now, good two cars lapped. Skull. Carl, and then CJ, who's a lap down in the background oh, look there, the looks like look a battle here. Look behind. And that is Goonie under serious pressure here from Archil. Now that Lamborghini is a good old straight line speed. That Mercedes load's got a lot of grunt. This is going to be side by side. Look at this, nearly wheel to wheel. Still can't get alongside. Now as he got the inside line, he's got better brakes than the Lamborghini. Down the inside he goes. Brakes well, gets the car turned in, and that seemed to be an easy move there. Yeah. Goonie uh, didn't put up a fight, really. Just kind of opened the door and let him on through. But Skull is still somehow holding on versus uh, Carl right there. Scooney has a little bit of a try again, but can't do a lot here. Now let's go back to Skull and uh, Carl because this is where this corner here, Skull is very much at his worst point. Just look how he struggles up the hill. Looks like he's got no power on the rear and wants to step out a lot more into this corner as well. It's even this corner, in my opinion, is one of the hardest corners on the game. It's so easy, especially with that curb there on the exit, to get the rear end of stepping out ever so slightly. And you can easily well reach those tyre bundles there where the kind of little chicane area is. Talking about struggles, Goonie struggling as well. Hmm. That looked like uh, Carl made a small mistake there. It looks it's like CJ had a pop. Open. Like CJ maybe yeah. had a little pop on him here. Big parent up. Their position so. Um, Struggling those two, aren't they? Yep, he's 10th yeah, with a 50 racing. second penalty. Look at the gaps. Yeah, gaps massive here today, and of course, Jiren's races they tend to have bigger gaps. However, it's more about the consistency here, not the outright pace that gets you the win. Unless a cryptic who's going for the outright pace, and it's going quite well for him. Especially when everyone has a battle. Yeah, CJ now in the of in this situation but you can see he's actually being held up massively here by CJ by um sorry say Cole and um Skold here. So he really kind of wants to try and make that move on them but the situation well, is Carl is struggling. Yeah, well, well Skold is struggling as well because let's see it's 46 3, 46 8, 46 4 for CJ. Behind them meanwhile EPR 45 dead. So this could turn into a four-race scrap, a three-race scrap, which is almost basically a four-race scrap, because CJ kind of out of this race in terms of that, and oh, a bit of lag there. Yeah, definitely lag. If other drivers like CJ and Skull also see the lag, it might also compromise them and distract them. Yeah, really can. CJ all over the curb there, might get a slowdown party for that one. CJ down, but certainly not out. No, anything can happen here. He's also here. got a penalty, by the way. Yeah, He's also got a penalty, well. so we'll see how much it is. Oh, a bit but of a lock-up there. He points. Does he have a chance for points? One second. He's only well, seconds. How far ahead is the parenter for him? Yeah, 40 seconds? Yeah. About that. I don't know the, the exact, exact points system. 35 seconds. So he's got a is lot of cards. Do you know the point system? Is it the same as F1 then? Ed, I think it's... I think it's about 30 for a win. Um, maybe one of you can uh, shut that up for us. Skull. There we go. There we go. This is the moment. Here we go. Look at this. 3-1. They're going to go to the inside. Looks like the Lamborghini. But the Porsche. Look at the screen he's got here. Now to the inside he goes. Skull's pulling across a little bit here to cover him off. Squeeze him to the inside. But Cole having none of it. Down the inside he goes. Bit of contact oh. there. Argy bargy. Can he do anything Not now? Over. It's not over. Now, let's see. This is where the Porsche has a little bit of a struggle. But it's a straight line speed. As long as he can get within the toe, it'll be good. But it just looks like he's not got the grip. And looks like CJ. CJ. Oh, oh, bit of contact there. Skull wanted to turn in there. Down the inside goes the Lamborghini. Bit of a wibble and wobble on the exit. And free goes that car. And Skull really probably wants that blue flag to come into effect. Yeah, he really does. Because it... it oh. CJ actually going wide there, but every every sector he's going to get a blue flag waved at him. So yeah. he needs, he needs to be careful because if Skull this. stays with him, I think the rule goes if if you can't uh, pull away, then you you must let the car back through. Yeah, you know, it's already just compromising people's races here and round goes Skull. <laughs> ten out of ten there, my boy. How he caught that one? Like I said earlier. 
he is struggling into that corner and almost, almost dropped that right there. And that would have been an aeroplane crash if that went round. Wow, wow, wow. That was scary stuff. That's the, that is oh. not a corner you want to do with that. He goes at it again out of the... Right, under under there. Dying. That rear left yeah. is shot. I'm through this race, by the way, nearly. Yep. Oh, CJ. That to uh, unlap himself from Carl. And he's got to pull 16 seconds to Cryptic to get on the lead lap. Let's see. Is Carl going to put up too much of a fight here? I doubt it. Does. That'll be a bit silly of him. Let's see. CJ down the inside. Easy peasy. Maybe not. Can't do That's it. That's gone... Oh, I thought he was gone deep there for a second. CJ doesn't really want to push it too hard here, but he's got to kind of get that gap. Looks like he might just be out of the blue flag window now for Scott. He looks like he's dropping back with tyres. Yeah. Well, actually, CJ, I just, I'm just noticing on the race feed here, he is still, still getting blue flags waved because Scott is still roughly within a second of him. Yeah. Maybe, and looks like, maybe, look like he's slowing down a little bit there, maybe not, might be deceiving, but up front, 15, almost 16 seconds is Cryptic. Looks like he's got it all good so far in the first part of this race, but the second part, different story. Yep. Yeah. Oh, certainly. And again, you can see, uh, the Lamborghini is getting to the front, Carl and Cryptic, two Lamborghinis leading the race again. Yeah. You could almost say the third Lamborghini, technically, It'd be on third, but currently after that mistake, not in third, down in 13th. So 10 positions behind where potentially he wants to be. Hard chill though, flying. Man and Ethan, they're still kind of together. Ethan though, for all his issues, he's doing a brilliant job. He has a steering wheel, but he's driving with automatic gear, so he has really been hampered here. So it may be that's what caused him to go off. Where did you get the so. information from? Um, in the chat, so I presume um, that was from uh, AJ, so... Yeah, it's AJ, yeah. Insider uh, knowledge that, because he's in the party. And hopefully, it's really hope he can manage to get some positions here, because that is the most worst luck he can get, to have nothing like that, or Matt Gears. This is, um, this is uh, going to be, if it finishes like this, of course, a real... Big moment for Cryptic in the championships. He's going to take a massive chunk out of uh, CJ's lead in the championship because Cryptic is second in the championship by 57 points. But if he if he manages to pull off the win here, he's going to take a a big chunk out of that, and he's going to be well back in the fight. He really is, and that he's going to cause absolute drama for CJ. He's kind of last two races, you know. He he made a mistake last time out getting on the curb, dropped it into the pit lane, hit the pit wall, this time out of no fault of his own of course, hit the wall, and that really kind yeah. of... It did look like his own fault because uh, it was out of this corner actually, uh, turn three, and on the exit the actually, where Matt makes a mistake now, uh, it looks like he, like he dropped it and uh, he spun around into the field. And also, um, Skull might, if he stays where he is, which is looking unlikely as Arkel is catching him, but if he's, he, he might actually take third in the championship today, because Jam is third, and he's down in 12th. He's only 12 points behind them. And then, because of the automatic gears. Now, that is a real, real shame. Just but he is catching catch the break. He can, yeah, can any of these guys catch a break? Ethan's had a horrible kind of season. He's been on the pace of Scott, he's got one podium here, but just luck, Lady Luck has not gone his way. Talking about Lady Luck, like, it really hasn't gone um, Infinity's way, I have to say. One of only two retirements from this race, him and Ollie D. Ollie D, like, had contact with someone else which caused him to retire. But we don't know who. Matt going a bit too deep into the chicane. Gets away of that, though. Just about. But it's very nice speed for Pause versus Pause. Ethan versus Matt. Let's see. We saw how good it these two teammates were against uh, each other. Matt going very much defensive. I'm going to go the long way around says Ethan. Pulls the outside. That's going to be brave. He's going to have to be really gentle on those brakes with those automatic gears. Can he do it around the outside? Matt gives him the space, gives him the room. Bit of contact Ooh. there actually. It's really giving him too much room and I don't think he was going to be very happy there. Luckily no. Not too much contact. Ethan managed to get himself out of that Back one. Hill. Arkans on the back of Skull yeah. for third. 
And we're really, really on the back of him now. And this is where, like we said, Skull struggles a lot. And that must be where. But I'm sure it's a little time but I don't even want a second of that. However, and I say this with a capital H, I think Archer might be very close enough to make a lunge at any moment if he gets a nice straight line down the straight. As we're looking capital at H. Shot. Yeah, with a capital H. I don't know where, where that came from. However, <laughs> this is uh, where the capital H, I think, came from. At 24 of 52. Nearly half through this race. At 56, give or take. And oh, that oh, is inside in the chicane. That's a bit brave. Yeah. That was, really little, that was a little bit audacious, I think. Ah, Skull Lloyd. Look, he looks like he's got a yeah. massive tank slab here. And now he's going to go defensive. He's really going defensive. He's squeezing him a little bit there. Not do Doesn't do a, um, a full squeeze like he does. He tends to do to uh, me. Now to the inside, does he get the move? Archer, wave on the brakes, gold, later on the brakes, low around the outside, there's going to be contact again, there's going to be even more contact there, just about mm. keeps themselves on the island, however, have to say Archer gave him a little bit too much of a squeeze there in my opinion. I think so, yeah. He's completely off the road there. Again, Skull was still there. He's still there, kind of forced to break out of it. Meanwhile, he found a map, a little bit of a move there on the brakes. But too much, kind of just says, don't try it. Bit of a wiggle on the exit, saying three foot. Okay, maybe you can try it. Too low, 14 seconds. In comes Tony in the pits. Now that must be scheduled. Go to the end here, hard through the race. Is he about to do that? Yeah. So yeah, we are at half distance. If you will take it. Pretty much. Big Brenta goes to ninth. It doesn't really matter for him because he has got a 52 seconds penalty. You can have a little lunge up the inside, locking the front left up, yeah. Oh, it gets on the curb. Yeah. And uh, I can also say that uh, Carl is taking chunks out of uh, Cryptic's lead. Yeah, really 13.8 seconds. Is Cryptic struggling, maybe? Beginning to, but he has got a comfortable advantage. Yeah, he's got a massive advantage here. We'll see what the lab time is. Uh, 45-5, what's Carl doing? I think he had a mistake that lap, or potentially... 44-9, oh, CJ, 44-7. And that oh. is Man in s Ethan there, having had it. Ethan has a little look to the inside, inside, gets a mega run there. Now to the inside here, that's going to be brave. Mouse through around the outside there, not doing it there, runs off the road. Now, might have to let him through there, because he kind of kept it ahead by going off the road behind them meanwhile Josh and Luke is flying so we're gonna have a freeway pause battle here Ethan sideways Matt sideways Scold has just got a time penalty yeah time penalty for Scold oh, so we're looking looking as a look to the inside he's alongside potentially gets a good breaking zone here he's trying to the inside Gets on the curb, can't do anything low. Now we have still the inside Whoa. line here, which is turn three. Now up the inside, where that automatic gear is not going to be helping him here. Yeah, that's a nice move. I think Matty's going to come back at him here, though, down yeah, towards turn to go four. Defensive. He's going to have to go defensive here. Matt's going to launch to the inside, oh, does go defensive. Oh, my lord. Tries to around the outside, might try and do a cutback, you know, give him a bit of a bump. Ethan, though, good manoeuvre, gets a position through. <laughs> no, it might not be. Has to cover off again. Matt's still trying around the outside. Oh, Can Matty. he go? Now, nah, not around the outside there. That was not going to end well. Has to back off that in the end. Good effort, though. Tap the lay yep. for um, that. But Ethan, great move. But can he keep it there? Especially around this section. Because you know he seems to be struggling here. Yeah. So Joshua Luke getting involved in this one now. He's having a bit of fun. Yeah. Three race scrap for between three different Porsches. There you can see one, two, just in the background, the number the other Porsche there. Ethan has a little bit of a gap now, about a fourth, three tenth gap. Not too much. Maybe a bit more now. Oof. As both of the uh, drivers behind him make the same mistake. Yeah. By the way, so... Gooey might be catching Scold here potentially. Eventually. Because that uh, gap too yeah. far, six seconds. And uh, Arkill yes. isn't far behind Carl either. You see the difference in lap time, 47 and 44. Matt is struggling, it looks like. Uh, I can see a lot of wobbles on the exits of corners, so... It might be that the tyres are going off as well. 
Yeah, potentially. It's called Glad Time compared to uh, EPR. Arch oh, massively different. And uh, Carl made a mistake as well. I think you mentioned it, Supers, a minute ago. But that gap opened up very dramatically there. But yeah. actually, Arch might be on the back of him soon as well. Yeah. <sighs> Whoa. Four seconds. Not if he does that. Yeah, definitely not if he do that. So this battle for the podium is not over yet. That's Carl. That's CJ as well. Yeah, CJ's CJ. Behind. I'm Sick. So, do these two make contact? Oh dear. Oh, CJ. Maybe Good these two tripping over each other there. Cause look, there's Gold and um. <laughs> here we go. Soup blows his nose. Gold, keeping up, keeping close. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, two wheel moment there. That's not going to do the suspension much good. And again, and... take a look at the top three: uh, Lamborghini, Lamborghini, yeah. and again a Lamborghini. Yeah, it would be four yeah. Lamborghinis if uh, CJ uh, hadn't had that damage. I'd imagine. Yeah, and uh, but again, we must mention Skull again. He is on a pad. Can I remind you? Indeed, everyone else, pretty much almost everyone else on the wheel. Talking about oh, Matty. Oh Matt getting a bit dirty. Yeah, Ethan, big wobble there. This is uh, a good battle between yeah. these two. Good battle, however, Matty seems to be struggling a lot more. That gap up front, meanwhile, kind of fluctuating a little bit between those two. 15, yeah. 16 seconds. If kind of closes down then opens up a little bit. As the map breaks down into the corner, gets absolutely everything he wants to do there. Big Parenta down in ninth. Those two struggling yeah. here with that 50 second time penalty there. I, I still honestly don't know what he's done to get that. Maybe that was contact with Oli. I, I honestly don't know how he gets that big of a penalty. It must have been a glitch sure. of some sort because I've never seen such a big penalty. Oh, oh. Wow, that was a massive moment. And again on the again. exit. Pushing it, the dear fellow. Well, it caps up Ethan there, who's on automatic gears nonetheless, which is incredible to say the least how he's managing to keep so far ahead. Oh. What is actually the reason behind this uh, issue? The controller, I think, reset it. Now, of course, um, Soup, you've experienced that as well sometimes when the controller connects. It resets all your assists, doesn't it? Yeah. If the, if your uh, DualShock is, connect is connected, it uh, will reset uh, to... I think it's if you start the game with the controller, then it'll uh, put the controller assists on. So uh, th that should be why, and as uh, Arkham just set the fast lap of the race on 144.5. Yeah, fast is by quite some margin there. Matt yep. is still pushing, he so is. even is not in the in the safe zone yet. Yep, gap to safety zone a little bit more than what he wants. Got me in the little bit of a danger what? zone right now. Look at the gap between him and Goonie, 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds. Goonie is almost in no man's land right now. Nearest car to him's gold. We give or take 7, 8 seconds. So that's 6 seconds. And then Skull and EPR, about 5 seconds. Then gap a little bit closer there between EPR and Carl. That's about 3 seconds. You can just see, actually. Uh... Oh, dear Lord, Matt. Wow, wow, wow. Well, Matt, well and truly, probably just um, showing uh, Ollie what he's doing. Unless Ollie's kicked him off the um, off and just dri driving uh, Matt around. Oh well, my lord, again! Going. <laughs> uh, maybe they're fighting over the wheel. Yeah, maybe Ollie's <laughs> just yanking his wheel. <laughs> oh. Anyways. CJ in. Yeah, I think we just yeah. lost another driver there, potentially. No, we didn't. With a lag spike, maybe. But what, what, where's the pistol for? Because you made one earlier. Is this for tires, or is he trying a, a really interesting for tires. Tra strategy, possibly? I don't know. But um, right now, Cryptic's pace up front is falling off as uh, Carl and 
uh, our killer setting 44s. He's on yeah. 45s. I think we're ready for a pit stop in a minute for uh, these top guys. I think, though, Matt might come in for a pit stop soon as well. Yeah. I've seen what a horrible time for CJ. Mike, was that for damage, maybe? He's in for a long time. Well I think he's now on the. Now it he's coming out like there. That. It's mm. going to be a bit close there between him and Matt. Yeah, he's going to come out. Mm, that's not ideal for him. Uh, kind of be ideal. Go out of the way in around about turn three. Yeah, unless he's got the pace. He wants to get out in front of them so he does not have to overtake them uh, and unlock himself. Uh, he's, he's, got again now. he's got to do a point. Matt, more so. Is Matt going to go sideways through this corner again? See, rear end starting to step end. out. There it goes. Keeping it. I have been sideways. Action there on the car. Ooh, but nonetheless, keeping it. Hmm. And again, you can just see when he comes out of corners, the, the rear of the car just unsettles. Now, we believe. Oh, oh my lord! lord. Matt, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, I'm going to around the outside, my lord! Oh. This is going that a little bit hairy. CJ, how he's done that? So, Jamming. He wants, he needs to get a gap now, because otherwise Maddie is allowed to overtake him. Yeah, um, Matt's going to come in, I think. Has to... Matt has to come in, surely. There's Jam. In the pits, I think we might see Matt come in, you know. His tyres. Well and truly have gone off the cliff and a little bit more. Yep. Surely he's fucking. Look how sideways he is. He's gonna drop that in a minute. He's going in a wall if he's not careful. The concentration is gone, it looks like. And there's a. Uh, that's interesting. Skull sets the fastest first sector of anybody. Yeah. So, um. 28.049. Maybe. Maybe his time. Oh. Maybe his tyres have gone so far off the cliff that he's actually gone quicker. Maybe. Though I tell you, someone who definitely has hit the cliff, and that is Matt. Yeah. He's more than Let's hit the cliff. It. He's gone below the cliff and a bit further. Yeah. This is, you're going to see it through this corner. He wobbles out of that part right there. Let's watch him through this part. It's going to be uh, he's gentle, gentle, gentle on the throttle, sideways. Watch for it. It's a more Not stable this time. Sideways. As solo as normally, but nonetheless, a little bit sideways. That's what we like. I think I recognise this because this is the same trouble I had when I was driving the Lamborghini in my championship, in the championship I drove in, and uh, it was also really weird. Sometimes the rear end just steps out, and I would never, was never able to find a solution in the setup. So maybe he's got the same issue now. Yeah, I know. I was talking, especially with Scold as well, and he was struggling on the tire wear. Ethan was struggling on the rears. Talking about the rears, that just proves it there. Now, is Ethan gonna let CJ pass? Doesn't really want to compromise each other's race here. CJ's massively quicker. Surely Ethan's kind of gonna have to maybe let him through unless he's gonna pit. Maybe, or CJ's just getting down the straight. Let's see uh, if he can do it. Yep. No, he's gonna have to pass him on circuit. Ethan doesn't look like he's gonna get any room. Yeah, let's see if uh, CJ can do it. I don't think he's actually going to be able to do it because that Porsche is very quick in a straight line. Yeah, quick is by far. At least it does about 160. There it is. That is 67 miles an hour he hits the brake. Massively quick there compared to Matt who's only just hitting 160. So, Ethan definitely got a very nimble car. Low, looks like CJ has a little more of a nimble car though on those fresher tyres. Have a look up the inside. On the exit of turn three, and thank you very much. He says, "I'll on that myself." Not yet, low, and now he's free. Yeah. So now he chases after. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Um, if he cannot get away from Ethan, he needs to obey the blue flags. Yep. Yeah. Totally. But I think his pace is quite alright. So now he has some fresh air. But I don't see him getting into the points anymore. I don't know the points score. Uh, my phone is dead as well, so I can unfortunately not check. Yeah, a real shame. Well, 20 laps to go. And the order currently lies as less. Cryptic, ahead of Cole. Archel in third, Scold fourth. 
Gurney in fifth, Ethan sixth, Matt seventh, Joss is eighth, Big Parenta ninth, Double A in tenth, Tony eleventh, CJ twelfth, Jam thirteenth. Out of this race so far is Joshua Luke and unfortunately not Joshua Luke, Infinity out of this race and unfortunately already doing it. Let's go yeah. to a man we have not seen, uh, well, barely seen in this race. Jamie, where is he? He is in 13th at the moment. No. Uh, also involved with a turn 3 incident uh, on lap 1. Really oh, unfortunate what Jay. happened there. Reminds me of, uh, of Roshan's crash actually, but then the corner later. And there is Joshua Lund in. Hmm. Tires, so, definitely. Uh, a bit of fuel. It was really tires, yeah. Not, not, definitely not fuel. He's got 40 but liters. He's made a mistake. So he just had a moment. He's gone off again. He's hit the wall. His jam just passed him. He's hit that wall, I think. Oh, he's, it's just not a good day for him at all. Oh, so, CJ. Back to square one. He's what is happening with CJ today? He's back to square one and he's dead last. Yeah, more than back to square zero. It's just a horrible last two races, isn't it? I mean, it's all about not having any luck. CJ's championship is turning in front of him. Here is Joshua Luke. Exit the pit then there. There's your leader, by the way, Cryptic. There he is. Nice little segue to the man who's doing everything correct so far today. Yeah, has quite that every lap. He ends the straight. Carl enters the straight. And EPR is really close. Look at this. Yeah, yeah actually he is. Oh, to to 44-4, fastest lap. Yeah, fast lap on this uh, section at least. So he is pushing. Everyone is very much now on their kind of limits here today. That's impressive. Because his, his tyres, he's pitting on lap one. And so his tyres are about as old as everybody else's. That is really impressive pace for Mark Hill. See then, Arkill is about just on, under a second, or over a second behind Carl. I have a feeling these guys are going to be making a pit stop very shortly, as Maddie D is in. And he's going to drop behind Joshua Luke. It's going to be, might be tight with himself and Joshua Luke, as CJ is in again. Yeah, that's for damage. Unbelievable. It's a shame we didn't catch that because in the last corner it looks like he was just off the track completely and Jamie went through. Yeah. Parenta now laps him. I think Big Parenta, um, he might drop all the way back to uh, to last it looks like. Or, no, not to last, no. No, he won't uh, actually. Think. He's going to stay seventh. Or not. Oh, not if he does that! that. Oh. <laughs> How did he save that? These drivers have to say 10 out of 10 for Sider's effort. Matt in the pits, by the way. Not I having the best maybe, of luck. I think Big Parenta maybe just kind of drifting it a little maybe. bit. Apart from the 50 second penalty, he's, he hasn't really, he's really having a good day. Maybe he, just, he was celebrating his uh, F3 championship a bit too much. A little bit too much, yes. There there's Manny is D. Matt. No, that's going to be a bit close. Interesting. It's going to yeah, be that's... interesting because there's, a, there's oh. two lap cars in front of Carl. Ooh. There are two left yeah. cars in front of Carl now. A double A Whoa. and... Yeah, well done to to Carl to get through that and Maddie D side by side with uh, EPR. He's, he's getting lapped, of course. And Carl got through that traffic very well indeed and it took, double A managed to, to jump Maddie D. And let's see, our kill, can he capitalise? He needs to get past... Oh, he's going um, round! He's in the oh. wall! Well then. So that's put a spanner in the works. I don't know if he picked up too much damage off that. But, um, very big spanner help him. in the works. There are two battles mixed in between now. There's Scarl versus EPR, and also Double A and uh, Matty D battling for position. But of course, Double A still has to pit. Yeah, and EPR has got a penalty for it. Yeah, Arkansas oh. penalty. Another one. Cruel, cruel, cruel luck there. How two much seconds. is it? It's two seconds, two seconds. total. Wow. So Ooh, not a big smile. The bus is gone again. Number, and number now, pause. Matt. There's the pause. Matt on the back of double A again. Yeah, I so, think double A's coming let's in. See. Yeah, he'd have to, because Maddie D's on fresh tyres and 
he's not going to be able to fight it, really. Is that or not? Maybe not. Maybe we're wrong. Back to you, Vectroy. So, we could see uh, Carl and APR both getting hindered by uh, lapped cars, and that's through span in the world for both of them. But even yeah. more so for APR, because they were in the way a bit in turn 3, it looked like, and uh, it compromised APR and the white. Back in again. Uh, CJ's in again. Oh. He's now two laps down, I think. Yeah, he's yeah, like two one. laps down. Even more heavy up. What a disaster. Championship leader well, looks to be down and out. Yeah. Uh, is that going to be retirement or is he going to continue? He may have lost his battle, oh. but he's not lost the war. He will still about, be in the lead until the end of the race. Doesn't matter what. Matt's having a war of his own thing with the rear end of that Porsche. And looks like he's just about winning that war. Just about. Yeah. In comes Ethan. Ethan in. Ah, It'll be interesting okay. to see where does he come out with Matty D. Matty D, of course, got holed up by double A and, of course, the battle between second and third. So, where will Ethan come out because he had um, clean air? Let's see. through. One of the first pit stalls. Oh, ah, wrong pit box. Not that he one. There down. you go. <laughs> there we go. In he comes. Better up, Jeff. And eventually, so... we'll go. Oh, dear, Matt off the road. He's definitely stuck behind Meg here. Yeah, I'll just see. Where is he? It might be time oh. for himself and Joshua Luke, I think. Yeah, I think he's going to be Joshua Luke. Let's see. Yeah. He looks like he might be coming down the pit road now. He's going to still on the uh, pit. No, he's got him. Meg's he's got him, I think. Yeah, yeah I think so. Oh, that. long stop. Has he got. Um, is he stuck? He's stuck, look. Or he's getting. He's um, in, yeah, he's is stuck. He stuck in neutral. Yeah, that's, oh, dear that's Lord. critical then. You can't get into gear. CJ. There ah, he goes. It, I heard it revving. CJ, maybe. Was that for fuel or damage? I, I, I don't know. Why? It took so long, but he's. Damage. Way I think he's on his way out. Yeah. He's out. So. And mysteriously mm. now, it comes out with a lot of damage on that car. So it obviously was for damage. Did he hit the wall somewhere? Maybe he did. But uh, Arkill now right on the back of uh, Carl once again. This and, is turning uh, into an interesting little uh, race of nutrition, isn't it? The top three have not pitted, have they? Top four haven't. Yeah, top, top five four. haven't, sorry. Top five, yeah. Big parenta up. Guys, uh, two uh, stopped a few laps ago. I think, yeah, he's also um, he's right on the pace, these guys. He's setting 44.8. Which is the same pace as uh, Arkill. Right now, still has got a pass at double eight. Might but look at the gap between Maddie and Ethan. Yeah. I thought Ethan had clear air, but it looks like he's made a terrible mistake. Yeah, he definitely has damage now on my screen at least. So he's in the somewhere. These top guys haven't pitted yet. Surprising, by the way, because Cryptic now opening that gap up a little more. Forty-four six. Let's see what Kyle can do in response. 45-1. 44 low for EPR. Ooh, yeah, that is a fast lap. Behind them, scored a further 15 seconds down the road. There he is in the background. He's got, oh, he's got it. Yeah, Arkell's got another penalty. Ah. Now, how big's that? Three. In total three. So that's put him mm. now behind. And, uh, actually, double A has got 30 seconds. Dear. Oh. That's speeding Not in the pit lane. Yeah, is that speeding in the pit lane or entering the pit lane too fast? It's it's engaging a rocket, a rocket boost in the pit lane because yeah. normally it's 10 seconds. Yeah, unless he's done it three times. Hmm. Arkell's all over. Or could Carl it be now. blue flags or something? I, I, I don't know. I imagine. Oh, that rear end went there for a second. Big wobble hit. This could go anyway. Let's see. Don't try to the inside. That was a little lucky either way. Big wobble. Come, Cole. Now, let's see. Down the straight. Here we go. Slipstream. Let's see. Is he going to dive from this far back? Covers him off. Runs a little bit deep. Gets a big wobble on. And a bit of contact oh. there. And that's a little bit hairy between those two there. I'm afraid to say that looked to me 
like a racing incident car got a big old tank slapper on the exit talk about on the exit in that corner though EPR getting a big tank slapper as well this is allowing Skull to catch up by the way he's just caught two seconds whilst he's in the last sector yep uh, also just joined that CJ at the fastest lap 144.1 yeah, he's flying here. The trip to it doesn't matter for much, fly. though. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. That's only for glory. That's what Skull's lap time is, by the way, when he crosses the line. Behind them, by the way, that is Matt and Double A battling. Yeah, they're still battling. As we head into turn on one by one, let's see. Oh, not close enough to make a move yet. He's stuck behind there in the back where you can see Double A and Matt as they go through turn one. No battle between those two yet. They're kind of even. There they are. And back to lead guys as well. They're coming up to lap. Josra Luke currently. Yep. And uh, Arca was uh, just at the fastest first sector of anybody. As he went through that sector, you saw the green lap delta. So let's see. Uh, Skull's lap time was a 46.6, by the way, so he was yeah. a second quicker than Arkill. So he's decently on the pace of these guys, but uh, Gooney is going quicker behind them. 45.8 for Gooney. He's five seconds behind them. Yeah, and catching a little bit of a... No, that's a reasonable pace of not to say. Just catching a 2-3 temps there. Cole still just about ahead of Archill here. This is getting a little bit personal again. Here has a massive, 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 massive bit of oversteer there. Yeah. Let's see if Archill can make the move. They are, they are coming up on... Uh... Joshua Luke. Luke. I'd imagine they'll come in soon. And they have to decide when they're going to come in. Yeah, and but as always, 46 the. 46 uh, is the pit window. Yeah, five laps before the end. Should be around that 46, I think. There's the Porsche. There is the two Lamborghinis. Behind them there, a Lamborghini and a Porsche. I'm going to bow here. That looks like he's closing in the brakes. Not close enough, though. In turn number one. Oh! Whoa! Scold is in. Yep, Skull. Now that Skull is for his scheduled pit stop. Oh, Archer's made a mistake into turn number two. That's going to cost him a little bit of time there. Almost uh, five tenths of a second. And oh dear. Oh. Talking about mistakes. That's going to cost him uh, five tenths of a second as well. And I might get a time penalty for that as well, I think. Uh, no, he got away with that one, actually. Yeah, he got away so far. And on that last. Well, story. so far, of course. The penalties will be dipped out later if you uh, don't slow down enough. Yeah. Just look, does he get out of the way? There's got blue flags waving for him. So let's see if he moves out of the way. He's probably just going to wait for a better spot. Yeah, it's it's kind of difficult to do it here. Yeah, the real best place to do it is probably down the main street. Unless these guys pit. Remember, uh, how much fuel has Josh really got? I think he's fuel to the end, um, if I'm not mistaken. Skull has come... Skull has come out in fifth, by the way, uh, yep. we've, and we've lost, uh, we've lost somebody, uh, Tony. That, yeah, Tony, yeah. He's tried again, that is another one of those drivers who's having a horrible season. Twelve to go, or eleven to go if you're the leader. Yeah. And surely these guys are coming in now. Yeah, in, in, in yeah, yeah, there we go, so he's almost hit Oof. the wall on the inside of the pit then there. I think he did hit the wall. Maybe slightly. Trying to undercut that. But Very. actually, there's all this battling between EPR and Carl. Uh, he, they have kept up the pace, actually. Cryptic did not win any time from that. Did it lose any? Still doing 44s. And there is Double A. Still having a little bit of a battle there with Matt. Bit of weaving as well down the straight, I can imagine. Those guys. Gooney also in. Yeah. Gooney in. Finally, right, so all these drivers now are Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's Ethan. That's Ethan, sorry. That's Skull. And that is Jab, just ahead of Skull now, but a lap down nonetheless. So two people in the pit lane, EPR and the Goonie as well. Any comments? Do feel free to put them down below in the chat. Let's see if Skull gets out in front of the Goonie. EPR, our killer, is out of the pit lane. Skull's just coming around the last corner now. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to get him easily. The position. Also, a really long stop for Goonie. Is it for damage? Because it's taking a while. Yeah, yeah. I imagine. It's a very long stop. There we go. Well, exactly on key yeah, he's going out now. 
Doesn't look like he's dropped he too much left? time. Uh, might drop him behind Big Parenta. Potentially, yeah. It's going to be close. Oh, yeah, it is. But Big Parenta, a bit of a penalty for him. 52 seconds. Yes. A bit of a penalty. Just a little bit. Almost, yeah. almost half a lap. Yeah, double A making a mistake. Yeah. That map, really not capitalising on this. Double A has yet to pit, by the way. So he is, this is really, the, uh... really holding him up, isn't he, actually? Yeah, th that corner proving to be a challenge for everyone. Uh, I've seen most people making mistakes. They're calling Carl. now. This will yeah. be crucial for second position. Yeah, he's now. Going for the, he's trying to get a massive undercut, but he needs to make sure he comes out in front of Arkill. Let's take a look at his lap time. I mean, uh, it looked like EPR has got a better race pace, but uh, he did not find a way past yet. This is his strategy. Will it turn out for him? I think it will, because he it's is be uh, quite Well, Carl's last lap of 46. So it was a little bit yeah. slower. They, I think they're going to switch, you know, unless he's coming out the pit lane now. He, I think he is, actually. Uh, yeah, he is on his way out. out. He's coming out now. He's going to get ahead. Very tight. He's going to yeah, come out no. ahead. Miles ahead. Yeah. yeah. Great for the strategy. Well, out he comes. Well, Arkell's going to have the though. momentum. He is going to carry the momentum, but I think he's just, just going to hold on. Just about. Yes, he's out in front. However, Arkell's got great race pace, but he also has a three second time penalty. Remember, though, it's not over yet because remember, Cole's going to have. Yeah, Cole tires, like Vetra said, so this is definitely not going to be over for the first lap or so. And let's see, Lambo versus Lambo. Let's see which has got the pride of it. Two very beautiful liveries, like my. I think Lee Vodafone livery for me is a little bit better. Of a double A and Matt having a battle. Not seen yet. And there Cryptic yet. is in. Race leader yeah, in. Race leader. Now, he's got 40 seconds to uh, do his business. 10 laps to go oh, as well. He has to take fuel on as well. Not much fuel. No, just a little splash and dash should do him. Maybe 15 litres, if that. He doesn't need to take on most fuel in the oh, world. Oh dear. Manny D has a time penalty. Right, well. Everything comes to an end. Or rather, I think this battle might come to an end in a minute. There we go. Nice toe down the straight. Close enough. Nope. Covers him off well enough on the exit. These guys tend to be a little bit bumpy and out of the corner sometimes. They do well, bump. I think it is yet to start the battle. And this battle yet to start. Yet to end. We haven't even got to any point of it. Everyone's very sideways. And Cryptic comes out. An absolute country mile in front. He's, I don't think he's taken on any ready fuel, really. Oh, oh he had nine it's leaders it. going in. Oh, we're going to see a switch here, finally. Let's see. That straight line speed, though. They're just even on the straight line speed. Even with Slipstream, he just can't do it. They morph into one Lamborghini. There they are. Now back into two. Now he goes really defensive. He's going to force him to the outside. Covers him off. Let's see. Can Archel do around the outside? That would be brave. No, he has to back off this time. Can he get a good cut back on the exit? Doesn't look like it here as they go into turn two and turn three. And a little sniff up the inside. Can't do anything there either. Yeah, this battle is going to go right to, the, right to right to the wire, I think, between these two guys. So evenly matched. And uh, I think it's going to be a tough one for uh, Carl to keep behind, I think. Yeah, it really is. But remember, even if that power, he there has a little Ooh. look to the inside. Has to back off of that one very quickly. That door closed very dramatically here. He's really making his, his intentions known. Do not try it. He definitely has the high ground. However, as you remember what happens sometimes, the high ground sometimes has its advantages and disadvantages. Let's see, though. Good yeah. old exit here. He's going to have to cover the inside here. He's going to have to force him to go to the outside. He has to do the outside line here. That's going to be brave. He'll turn to the inside for the next corner, though. So if he can just get a long enough side, can't do it that time around. He'll manage to pop up the inside into this corner. He wants to try that. Doesn't want to do that, though. Yeah, Ethan just picked up a time penalty. Yeah. Many drivers have time penalties now. Almost half the field. Maybe a bit more than that. Ooh, about 75% of the field. Yeah, a little bit more than half. So, uh... Lap 44 of 52. Cryptic is 15 seconds in the lead. Carl is second and Arkel is third. It's an all Lamborghini top three. 
Well, here we go. Pulls it inside again. Still can't get alongside, though. Really showing how good of a straight line speed Carl's got in that in that setup, at least. Equal cars between the pair of them. Not much different about the setup. So just really showing that Carl's built that car like a rocket ship here, but seems to be struggling on the corners. Yeah, definitely. He well. I think he's it looked like he's gone a bit deep there, but parks the bus on the apex, which is the best strategy, I think, when you're going up against a driver like Arkill. Yeah, who, uh, will break early. A bit of twitching as well on the exit. Getting so far, so good, though. Yeah, Carl, actually, this is like a huge turn in performance from him, because ah. he won last time out. Uh, yeah. he's, he only started racing in uh, Silverstone, so, oh, oh dear. Oh, there's no mistake. I have been reported, by the way, that uh, Carl has got a bit of damage on the front end, only one, so it shouldn't be affecting him. Yeah, well, oh, oh, Arkill, he's got, yeah, he's got a uh, t track limit thing, so he ran, oh, so that running wide cost him. Um, can I just say as well? I think Cryptic's luck has turned in his favour for once. Yeah, finally. Let's not curse it, like. Oh, dear Matt! Yeah, My even with fresh tyres, he just doesn't seem to uh, have the want grip. to go on the straight line. How... Has Double A pitted? I think so. I he, was, think he, he, he pitted earlier. Yeah, I think he pitted earlier. Unless he pitted ah. really early. More inspiring. Even mm -hmm. though, look at him. All in tenth. Yeah, only in 10th, his yeah. teammate, up in 4th. Yeah. And there um, he is. Is that teammate? But is it really? Is it really that, that the Lamborghinis are so much quicker, or just the quicker guys in the Lamborghinis? Because it looks like the Porsches just do not have uh, enough pace to keep with them. It really does look like the Porsches yeah. are a little bit quicker here today, and that is a real shame, to be honest. But Lamborghinis, impenetrable. Yeah, definitely. Just absolutely nowhere near. Yeah, it's like but, the um, China. You can try your hardest, but you just can't get through. Send your armies back home. However, do keep trying and uh, eventually you might little make a way through. Maybe I can, um, I can just uh, go through. Uh, the oh. points. I have found the point system. Um, so, where CJ is right now, there is points for 12th. Up to the, the points go to 13th, so he's very lucky. Um, he's going to pick up five points, and Cryptic, of course, depending on whether things change, he's going to pick. He's going to score 35 points. He's going to take 30 points out of CJ's lead, which is massive. Point for seven. Then the gap will be no. 27 coming into the next race. Yeah. So, a huge gap from 57 to 27 in one race. And that Where is... are Carl and EPR actually in the championship? Can you look that up? I can do. Um, I think EPR is probably a little bit... Uh, I think he's a little bit down. Let's check. Give me one second. Uh, please just load for me, please. Thank you. So, our kill... It is he's a thirteenth in the championship. He um, he's only good, finished yeah. his best finish to date has been fifth in the second round. So well, that's um, gonna be a massive overhaul then. Yeah, and uh, Carl he's eleventh in the championship. And he, you know, he only started racing in Silverstone and took his first win last time out. So uh, he's really made an impression in his in his first couple of races. Yeah, as a reserve. Last winner in. Controversial fashion, give that, but um, well, that's a brilliant job. Matt still could not make that pass on double A, however, he's even closer this time. I think, as I look to the inside, nope, still can't do it. Lamborghini impenetrable, Porsche trying the best, but could just not push that Lamborghini around or anywhere. Brilliant, brilliant defending, but brilliant attacking. Yeah, and this battle is not over at yeah. all. Whoa! Oh, I almost was over there, so don't curse that one, Sunshine. 
I trust his ability. Oh, oh damn oh, it, he goes. Oh, contact that time. He had to have a look eventually. He's going to let him back through. There we go. Sportsmanship there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just about let him through. Ooh. I think I know how he's keeping in front. He's wearing Vectra's number. Ah. 666. Six, six. Oh, it might not be any moment. Here we go. <laughs> Round the outside. That's going to be brave. That's going to be very brave. Can't surely do around the outside there. Run out himself out of room. It does do so. But yeah, the number 666 defending for all its might. Bit of a wheel on the exit. Let's see what Matt well, can do on the exit. Number, but I, don't, I don't hope he's doing me. That would mean we'll just collapse uh, during the race. Whoa, oh, that's brave. That is a bit too brave there from Matt. I thought I was going to end up upside down in the gravel trap. Might yet. Yeah, yeah, it's not cursed that one again. Again. Look at Carl and EPR, by the way. They are still together. They're just coming through the last few corners. Here, Here we go, Matt. Matt. Round the outside. That's going to be brave. Can he get a cut back? No, still can't do anything there. Defending beautifully here. And look yeah. at second and third. Three times separating them. So yeah, that absolutely over. brilliant battling. Let's see. The race tends to come alive in the last couple of laps here. Matt's positioned his car to have a lunge to the inside. Can't do it again. Just gets a bad exit here, and that's where he's struggling. He needs to punch it down this straight and just force the Lamborghini oh, to make a mistake. Solid and money. He does make a mistake. Matt makes a bigger mistake in the background. That's cryptic, by the way. It's a race leader. Yeah, that's how far. Oh, he's going oh, to the inside. Oh, inside. That's brave. Oh, a bit of contact, and through he goes. What an overtake Ooh. down the straight. Whoa. Contact there. Well, that almost was pitching around into the wall there. It's not over. That is huge commitment from Maddy to get that one done. Runs a bit wide. Let's see. Can the Lambo pause and listen a little babble here? Can he push one up the inside? Doesn't look like it. Not Let's yet. Go back to the battle for a second. Oh, he's looking. Oh, contact. contact. And, and surely, again with the bump and run. Surely now he's got to. Ha he has to give the position back there. That you can't do that. He does the yeah, position Yeah, he's letting back. him through. There he goes. Well done, Sharp. Well done. Uh, he's going to come straight back, though. It doesn't last long. I think he's going to defend even harder with this one, because there yeah. he goes down the inside Ooh. of the defence from Carl. Runs a little bit wide now. Cut back here. Yeah, he'll go defensive. He'll take it really narrow. Oh, oh God. God! And, and through, through it that goes time. with a bit more contact that time. Yeah, I think he just got a little bit squeezed there. Now, to say the least. It's also to at the end stage of the race. Yeah, there's not, not long left. Oh, Carl. Yeah, these tyres are gone. Yeah. Now, uh, Cryptic's got to make his way through. Yeah, he's... This has helped Cryptic lead because look at the gap now. Almost 20 seconds. Yeah, that is I don't think EPR amazing. will be able to uh, close that at four laps. Unless Do Cryptic you... has a massive issue. How much fuel's Cryptic got? Oh, dear. Oh, oh a CJ. Uh, uh, Carl, Carl, what are you doing? He's um, you... taking the uh, different route there. That's a interesting route. He's going uh, back in the 90s there. Yeah. Oh, don't um, see that. I wonder if he's going to take. Is he going to take the other 90s route and go straight down here into the wall? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't no. recommend that. Those 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 are solid um, tire bundles. Yep. Uh, oh. Oh, Skull's had an issue. Yeah. He's had a massive issue. Yeah. Because now Big Parent has gone into fourth. Really well, matter, he's though. got a 52 second penalty. <laughs> Now, what he's done there? He's, he's spun or something. He's, he's, yeah, it looks like he spun to the top of the hill potentially. But uh, he's still fourth, don't worry. But, um, you know, <laughs> Carl, I mean, EPR is not safe yet. Two and a half seconds is the gap. He needs three or more. Yeah. Um, I think he might get that. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I think he's I... just about got that. Yeah, now, he's actually. in there. He's, yeah, he's yeah, in there. Now he's... he's just about in there. Not yet. Uh, 2.8 is the gap. Yeah, 2.8 ish. So, uh, it's around there. We'll oh, be no. tight at the end. Yeah. It's it's now we got Just about. Skull's now battling with Big Parenta. Yeah. Well, Skull mistake. Ooh. If I was Skull, I wouldn't try to push it too hard. Hang on a minute. Big Parenta is going to run out of fuel. Is he? Ah. 4.4. He's not going to make yeah. it. Oh dear, mm. now, is he well, going he said to... that... He said that a couple of races ago, and then they made it to the end with about 0.8 left in the tank. Yeah, well that's 4 oh. litres. 
fumes. <laughs> How much fumes Crypto got? 17, okay. 17, yeah. he's dropping the ball. Oh. That's double A. That's double A. Yeah, he's just passed him. Yeah, double A. Keeping with him though, down the straight. There's Map blasting away there. Let's go back to Skull and Big Perrin up. And that's the battle on circuit. There's Skull. Is he going sideways through this corner? No. No, I think he got scared off by that. By the... Whoa, cryptic. That was uh, a bit Harry. scary. Big Perrin might uh... make it, you know, with the few he's got. Maybe. Just. Point six a lap, maybe you will eat a lap. He's... Remember, Cryptic's two laps a, a lap and a bit ahead. They aren't lapped, so... Um... They are lapped, I think. No, the gap is 4 to ah. 5 seconds, and the, and the lap oh, does dear. not take 45 seconds. Mm, Skald is... Uh... Struggling. Very yeah, much struggling. He's got, he's got 9 seconds to the next car. So you just got to keep it together. Well, now, as Vetro said, Big Perona hasn't pit, so he is running out of fuel. Yeah, he is going to run out of fuel. He's going to have to come in this lap, or he's um, very much yeah, in if trouble. It's if it's, let's say, uh, two litres a lap, which is quite accurate, he yeah, is definitely really not going to make it. Yeah, I think he's just realised he's going to run out of fuel. But, yeah, because he's now uh, he's going quite slowly. Well, this will cost him even more time uh, with the 50 seconds. With the 50 seconds, he would have still got around 10th, I think. The so, thing is, uh, will, he, will he even make it into the pit box? Well, I think he's he not... will. Oh, he's took a point three of a lap there. Oh, it's going to be very tight. Oh, double, double A's in. in. Yeah, double A, and that's what causing the little oh, bit of a lag Scald. Spot there. Scald. He's getting a. Oh, he's on the grass there. I don't think he realises uh, there. Mate, don't do a heart, mate. mate. Oh, 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 big friends, uh. Jesus, man. What is it? What is it with Catalonia being sideways? Uh, down there goes Scott, Scott, he goes. Down the inside. Oh, he's going to hit him. Oh, oh. he nets him through in the end. Now, let's see. Keep One leader. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This huh. might not end well. Ah, Arco's got another time penalty. That also has not gone well. That should be a six seconds penalty now. Four. Four, uh, four seconds. Uh, yeah, he is he, still in. The, he is still in the in the in the comfort zone though. Is Big Perrin got in? He has. Yes. Just. No. He's, really six. He's still got to get down four. the pit box to his thing. He should make it. Just. Depends where is uh. Is it that first, first one, one or is it down the other end? Well, I think. Who's gonna come ahead of these guys? Goonie passes him. Yeah, he's made six it. Oh, no, no, he's not. It's one no, pit stop. Wrong one. Run, run again. There it is. And in he comes. 0.5 a litre. Just about got it. Put yeah. two, three litres in. Go back out. Yeah, it goes to the end there. Yep. Mighty D. Uh, that's Cryptic, who's just got passed. Yep. Cryptic now coming to his last lap. Matt, spare to do another lap. I think he's happy about that. The yeah. gap between Maddie and Ethan actually not that big anymore. Six seconds. Ethan flies. Yeah. However, yeah, I think it's a little bit too little, too late. Because we are on the yeah. last lap, and Cryptic begins the final lap of the race. Yeah. Flying this race, he has flying the flag for himself. Closes up on the championship by a massive margin, 27 points will will be. And CJ left down there and last so it um, it's changing from what seemed to be a walk away result for CJ to um, a complete uh, well disaster. not quite a turnaround but uh, it's a complete disaster for him today he's down and last almost a minute behind the next car and um, he's uh, really had a terrible day with cryptic that I mean for he could have had the result a lot earlier, but he got flipped upside down in Indianapolis. Yes. Um, and multiple other things just didn't go his way. But um, he is really Valtteri Bottas. He got the number 77. Just doesn't go his way sometimes, but the occasional time it does go well, and it, today it's going well for him. Yep, and when it does go well, it goes it's very well. well. It's come down to 12 seconds, so uh, it's EPR. He's got a really bad, uh, good pace. But, yeah, uh, but he's not quite not four good. seconds ahead. 
No. Only just. I think um, very just. However, I think he through the last couple of corners. Really Riptic. He took lead and he very much stayed there. Down into the last few corners. Into the chicane. And Cryptic's gonna really enjoy this one. He comes to the line. And Cryptic wins here in Spain. At last. Finally. And Matt was the line in second position. That's a long time coming. Somebody else won twice in a row. Archie and B2. I'm mm, just going to get P2. He's just got P2. APR. Let's, let's see if um, when he crossed the line, is it going to be still second? Yes. He has. Wow. It's gold. It looks like he's going to yeah. get third. Yeah, he's... Interesting line, too. Actually, Matt and Thomas are getting close. Or yeah. they have already finished. Yeah, they've just finished. Yeah, Ethan finishes ninth. <laughs> he spotted the moth on his wall. He wants to get to the end and kill it. So here comes Skull to take fourth. Cross the Another line. great result. Brilliant result for him. He has taken the initiate here. He has definitely got to be the driver of the season so far. Puny, fifth. Man who's most consistent in fifth. He always seems to be in fifth position in these races. It's a yep. long race, yeah. Stilled on the grass down and someone. Big Carenta. With 52 seconds. Oh, dear. oh and that's a that lot has of cars. Been, um, that is a Lamborghini train. That is, I see four, mm, five Lamborghinis there. I see uh, Cryptic and CJ having a chat through the window. Oh, dear. And, and Skull's just died. Is Skull, he's, he's, I think the, the moth has eaten him. Joshua Luke. That's a decent result, seventh. Six. He's going to get sixth, actually. He's, he's going to be sixth gonna, for him. That's really good. And a, oh. oh, God. And across oh, the line. Oh, God. This is going to hurt. Oh, well, we'll never find that out. Well, then. So, wow. Cryptic wins here today, then. From Archo, Carl in third. Skull, fourth. Goonie, Joshua Luke, Big Parenta, Matt. Then there's Ethan Jam <laughs> down in 10th position. Outside of that little top 10 bunch, we have got... Double A and then CJ, Tony, Infinity and Oli D all out of this race. Well, actually, uh, Big Panther just holding on to seventh place. Uh, just one second shy of Maddy D, so um, he could penalty. have been eighth. That penalty has absolutely ruined him. 51 seconds. He didn't fall that far back, actually. Less than He's I thought. Still seventh, yeah. Not, not bad, not bad. Well, in closing, a dramatic race, a dramatic fine finale there. The championship comes down to 27 points. And this championship now switching very dramatic as we head to the next round in Hockenheim Ring. That is going to be a story for next week. I've been evil. Last words from you two. Well, uh, the championship is uh, very much on again. I feel Cryptic is has had that result coming a, a long time and uh we're going into the last three rounds i think there's only three rounds left in the championship from what i can see yeah we're going to hockenheim next week i think so uh looking forward to that one last words from you that yeah for, uh i've really enjoyed this race can't wait to see hockenheim that first corner has got to be really interesting uh, the championship is on again. Uh, one more bad race for GJ, and I think we we might have a really interesting battle. So I'm looking forward to next week. Indeed. Well, thank you for joining us here today. We'll see you next week as we head to the German Grand Prix in Hockenheim. Until then, thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon here from AOR. Take care. Goodbye.